Oi oi, Savaloy. Oi oi. Welcome back to Wednesday's video on Wednesday. Unheard of. It is. <laughs> Lately it is. Of late. Uh, right, mate, I've got me Ali Bar now. Oh, yeah. So this is M10 by one and a half aluminium threaded bar, which Lovely. is perfect. Just what you want. And I've made three plugs. So I've made them slightly deeper than the actual depth of the threaded hole that we've yep. produced. And I've hacksawed a a little slit in the top so I can put it in with a flat head screwdriver. Lovely. Very smart. You can see I've put two in already, mate. They bottomed out. And I'm putting them in with a 648 Loctite. Proper sticky so, stuff. Yeah, so I put it on the thread inside there. Look, plenty of, plenty of the old in. goop, mate. And we'll, uh, this is where, you, where you're on camera and it didn't start to thread in. Great. So we just go down to there. Nice. That's it. So we'll let that go off. And that 648, we know what that's like. It ain't coming out, is it, once that goes no. off? Um, then Good the stuff. next step will be, while it's still set up, I'll just Go over the top with the milling cutter, obviously not removing any material off the face of the head there, but no, just getting it as flush, getting as, it as, flush as I can. Um, and then I'm going to put the rocker cover on and we're going to drill down through the existing holes on those three. Yeah. Make sure we get the correct centers and then uh, tap it M6. Perfect. Jobs are good, isn't it? Yeah. And this one I've got to be cracking on with today. Yeah. So I'm going to give that an hour or so to go off that 648 and that will, um, that should be nice and um, should be good to go, shouldn't it? Should be good to go, shouldn't it? So that is it on the Cosworth. And then, as soon as I get this one done, I think Steve's ring me up. Steve rang me up this morning and said he'll be coming Tuesday now. All oh, right. So I want to get that 500 stripped. Nice. Right, so you can see, guys, I've got the rocker cover on the Cosworth head now. Sorry about the noise, John's just over there grinding a cylinder head. Um, so this rocker cover here you can see is off an early Cosworth type. This is um, what they put on the Sierras, the early Sapphires and the, Esc the, uh, the big turbo Escort Cosworth. So you can see it has five bolt holes around the sides. Um, the later cover was totally different to this. It looked more modern and 4D um, and it had just three either side so this one has been modified so you can see these black ones here are fakes actually um, and those two there so all the rest we sort of use um, so basically that one there that one there and that one there are the ones I put the aluminium plugs in so what I've done is put the cover on bolted it up with a few bolts to get it to central um, so where it's going to be sitting and then I've used a seven and a half mil drill, which is the clearance size for these M6 holes here. Um, I've used that seven and a half mil drill to centralize um, the cover where the, the drill and tap in for the M6 is gonna have to go. Um, I've then used the M6 tap in drill, um, run that down there all the way through my plugs on all three. Now I'm gonna remove the cover and see what we've got and I'm gonna tap them by hand. So we remove the cover now, put it back in the cupboard, nice and safe. And you can see we are pretty much central with those holes in the middle of those plugs, which is good. Um, so I've topped them off and they are dead flush with the top now. Um, all I do when I do that, rather so I don't remove material off here, is I touch my cutter onto the surface here, obviously making sure we've zeroed it down there. And then I back it off about a thou and then go up about half a thou. So we're sitting about half a thou off this face. And that usually means that that is as flush as it can be without it starting to remove material off there. Um, so yeah, really happy with that guys. I'm just gonna tap those now with the M6. And that is um, a job as properly done as possible without welding it. As I say, the reason I didn't weld these up is because you're gonna start to distort this face here good and proper. And obviously this is half of the cam bearing. So you do not wanna start removing material off here whatsoever. 
Um, but yeah, we'll give that head a good clean up. We can get that with the valves in, the springs on, and get it put back on the engine and um, start to time the thing up. Well, guys, I've actually been left alone enough today to get the cylinder head finished and on, torque down, jobs are good and um, cams are in. We've still got to pull the cams down. Obviously, timing gears on and stuff like that. We've got a few bits over there left to put on. Obviously, some ancillaries on the side and I've still got to spend half a day cleaning the old inlet manifold up. But we are getting there, guys. We're pretty much there and it's looking absolutely lovely. So if I just take this rocker cover off, which looks absolutely fantastic, um, you can see there the little inserts that I put in. Proper job. And it all looks lovely. Valves vacuum absolutely perfect. All the clearance is done. And it's all blasted. Looking like new again, I have to say. So yeah, um, soon going to be starting that one. I'm really looking forward to getting involved with that one. Um, Isaac has been cracking on with the old two litre wet bout look. He's got the gasket on. He's just about to plonk the old cylinder head on. So that's another one that's going to be done in the next week, hopefully. Um, still got to get in touch with the customer to see what's going on with that cosy over there. But um, I thought I would take this opportunity, guys, to the end of this video, to give you guys a little warning. Now, I've mentioned this subject before, um, but I'm only mentioning it again because we're hearing more and more of this. So... This game, really, this engine reconditioners game, um, even the, the sort of garage industry and all that, got to admit, there's some rogues out there, guys. There's some rogues that tarnish our name. Um, so you've got the decent ones like ourselves that are trying to run a legitimate business, be fair to our customers um, and not rip people off. But you've got people out there that unfortunately are out to make a few quid no matter what the consequences. Um, so Isaac had a phone call the other day, actually last week, off a woman, um, a lady, sorry, um, off a lady that has had exactly this, a bad experience, guys, and it's one that we've heard of before. So she had, she bought a vehicle, um, probably sort of four or 5,000 quids worth. Um, sounds like she hasn't got a lot of money. Engine's gone. Um, or so she's been told. So first thing she's done is gone on the internet, as most people do. Um, we've had a lot of phone calls off people saying that they've had quotes or they've looked at prices on the internet, just happened to ring us and we've said, look, we're not out, we're not sort of touting for work here, but do be careful. Don't always think because it's cheapest, you know, you're going to go there and get, basically, usually if it's, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Um, so she's gone to the internet, found this company, give them a ring, and they've said, yeah, we can sort that. Drive in, drive out, sort your motor, 4,000 quid. So she's thought, well, you know, she's going to have to borrow the money to do so. Um, so she sent the vehicle over there, and the usual has happened. They've got the, the vehicle, the engine out, the engine in a million bits, rang her up, said it's going to be 8,000 quid, which probably means it's going to be more like 10 by the time they finished. But even eight, you know, if you've got to go out and start borrowing money to pay the four grand that you couldn't afford anyway, obviously she's rang us, she's very upset. Where do we stand? And Isaac's sort of advised her that, unfortunately, you're, you're in it now. Um, to get the vehicle back and all the bits, you know, they're going to want they're going to want money and this is a usual story so what tends to happen in this situation or her situation now is she probably you'll probably find that she'll get in touch with them she won't have any contact um, they will just be saying that's what it is end of story if she tries going up there you know they will they will just run around a rat run um, we've had it before and in the end they just have to bite the bullet if they can get the vehicle back then great um, and they're just going to have to get a new engine from someone like ourselves but yeah, very unfortunate. So basically what this is about, guys, is just please be aware. Um, don't necessarily, not to say that people are out there doing jobs, you know, more cost effective than others possibly can. Um, it's like ourselves. There are companies out there that can do a particular engine cheaper than us because they obviously, they can get bits cheaper. They do them all the time. It's a bit like us with the Cozzies, really. Um, so yeah, within reason. But if you rang us up, if you've got a quote and you're unsure and you give us a ring, we will tell you just around about how much, the, how much they're sort of quoting. 
whether it can actually be done for that sort of money, you know, because sometimes we've, we've heard of quotes that, you know, we can't really even buy the bits for that, let alone the labour and, the, and, the, and all that. So, yeah, just be very careful, guys. Be aware um, if you're unsure on a quote. It's fine if, they're, if they've got a good reputation or they're um, on Google as being a reputable company. That's fair enough. But please don't hesitate to give us a quick ring and just say, you know, what do you think about this price? Is it, does it sound legitimate? Because we'll soon tell you just by going by the price. And sometimes we've probably heard of them anyway. So, um, so yeah, that's it, guys, for another video. Um, until, at least I've got one out on the right day today. But until Friday, I'm fortunately feeling a little bit better. Um, the old throat and the chest is not too bad today. I've done a full day's work, so that's good. Uh, but till Friday's video, guys, have a great evening. We'll see you then. Cheers.